Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and today I'm making a ballerina bunny. Um, it was suggested by one of the readers on my blog as one of the things that I should do next uh, for a video, and I just couldn't get over the idea of a, a human-shaped rabbit with a tutu. I don't know why. Now, obviously, it's not done yet, but it's getting close, so I'm going to show you... Um, the process so far and then next video I'll um, put on her head and get her covered with the Johnny clay. I'm basing this sculpture on Dugas Little Dancer of 14 years, a mixed media sculpture. Um, I'm basing it very loosely <laughs> on his sculpture. Um, obviously rabbits and people don't have the same shape. To make the base, I used a box that I bought a, um, a phone in recently, um, put some plaster in a plastic bag, mixed it up, and then put the bag inside of the box and just closed it up and then um, laid it flat so that the plaster would fill out the space. I left that overnight so that the plaster would cure and then took it out and uh, made sure that it would stay on the bottom and, and solidly in one place just by using a, um, a, a heat gun, a glue gun. Um, I wouldn't make a base like this if I was going to be selling the sculpture because it isn't really solid enough. I would use wood for uh, something that uh, I was using to sell or to give away even, but for my purposes I figure this is going to be just fine. Now in order to make sure that the edges and the corners are going to be solid enough, I used this plastic mesh that you find at the hardware store right next to joint compound. Um, it's used uh, in making walls and sealing up the cracks between plasterboard and it's quite nice when you're using the Johnny Clay because it, um, it will help support those edges and, and the edges are really on this base are going to be the, um, the part of the sculpture that's actually going to be easiest to break because if someone picks it up from the sculpture itself rather than the base, um, the, the corners or those edges are quite light, likely to crack. And that, that isn't really something that I'm looking forward to. So I spent a little bit of time making the base. What you see me using here is um, paper mache clay. It's a recipe that I developed several years ago. And if you're not familiar with it, go ahead and go to my website at ultimatepapermache.com. You'll find a link to the uh, recipe at the top of every page. It's called uh, paper mache clay. A lot of people are calling it Johnny Clay, which seems to be um, the easiest thing, uh, way for me to describe it. Um, I'm just smoothing it off here with a damp knife. And, um, and then I'm going to let it cure several days over a heating vent just to make sure that this base is really solid. Then um, I go ahead and put a, um, a wire armature that I've put together using some uh, aluminum wire and just put a few pieces of tape and then I'm um, finishing up the base by adding some more clay over those feet. The next step, once the, the base is completely dry, is to start adding some crumpled paper and masking tape. And this is really the messy part. Um, as you can see, when you first start adding paper to the wire armature, it really, it's really messy. Um, it doesn't look real great, and it's a little bit frustrating because the, uh, the, the masking tape um, it, it, it's hard to pull it off of the roll. <laughs> it always ends seem to be always sticking out someplace or another. So you just have to keep squishing and adding paper and um, putting it on um, almost intuitively uh, to to find the shapes that you really want. You're using this the crumpled paper and masking tape instead of clay or wax or one of the more normal um, uh, modeling materials. Um, it's a lot less expensive, and but once we finish it up with the paper mache clay, it's going to be a permanent sculpture. So um, here you can see I'm just um, adding a little bit more. Uh, I'm keeping those uh, photographs of the original sculpture by Degas up on my computer, and I'm looking at it all the time. Uh, I keep moving things around, uh, changing the shape, add a little bit here, add a little bit there. Uh, just trying to, to make 
make the sculpture look as close as possible to what I want it. But I can I can be a little bit sloppy. I don't have to worry too much about getting the shapes exactly right because I'm going to be finishing it up with that paper mache clay recipe and that'll fill in any uh, dips or bumps. I'll be able to add detailing. So I just need to get it pretty much the way I want it um, and and then I'll be worrying about the details later. Now I'm just adding her tail, figuring out exactly where to put a tail on a, <laughs> a rabbit that's standing up on its hind legs isn't easy. Um, if you go out to Google and do an image search, you can actually see a, a, a very nice photograph of a lop-eared rabbit standing up on her hind legs. I can't show it to you because it's a copyrighted image, but um, if you go out and search for it, you'll see that a rabbit standing on its hind legs does not look anything at all <laughs> like like this. Uh, this is sort of a hybrid between a rabbit and a human. Um, the uh, original sculpture by Degas has um, legs that are almost exactly straight and arms that are very straight. Um, rabbits just can't do that and even though this is a pretend rabbit it just feels painful to <laughs> to, to give, make them too out of, of, of uh, their natural state. I didn't, didn't want to wrench the poor bunny's um, shoulders out and so there are more bends um, than you'll see in the original sculpture. And of course she's uh, certainly got fatter and hippier than the 14 year old girl in the original sculpture too. In the next video, I'll put her head on. She kind of needs a head. Um, it'll be very realistic, so I'll um, do the detail on that, make, a, make sure we get some close-ups of building the head. We'll um, have nice long lop ears that float around that silly tail. And then I'll start putting on the Johnny Clay. Um, we need a lot of texture on the rabbit, nice fur, um, nice fluffy tail, and she's going to have a uh, tutu that I think we're going to be making out of uh, plaster cloth just so we can get a, a fairly realistic um, filmy sort of a, a tutu. After that, once it's all done and the Johnny Clay is all completely dry, then I'm going to um, put on a faux bronze finish. Actually, it's not fake, it's uh, real bronze, um, real bronze powder in acrylic base. So she'll look um, <laughs> so it looks like a bronze sculpture, but not quite like the original um, in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. <laughs> not quite. But anyway, I think she's fun. Um, I'll see you next time. Uh, come visit us, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.